here as we welcome in the head coach, Brent Vernon. And uh, coach, uh, a win's a win. I know this one kind of a weird game. Afternoon, Friday, neutral site, a facility that really didn't have a ton of energy in it. Uh, you guys had to kind of find a way to fight through that. And at the end of the day, you do come out with a victory. We did. And I go back to, uh, I just told her, no win's a bad win. It was ugly. I, I'm disappointed in some things, obviously. Uh, but we came out with a win, and that, that's the one good thing. I thought we took steps back compared to what we did against Alice Lloyd the other day. Uh, and, and it was. It was a very weird atmosphere, you know, and, and because of that, it, neither team could really get going. And, and this team, you sort of got to throw their record out. Some of their best players hadn't played the first couple games, and they finally got them back. So they're just now sort of figuring themselves out. <coughs> and the guys they got back are very talented. So we made – Minimal strides today. We better be more prepared and ready and handle adversity a lot better tomorrow. It's going to be a long day for us. Coach, today from the free throw line, Jacob King and Ronald Taylor, for lack of a better term, they may have saved you. I don't know. Uh, you were 30 of 40. You made 40 trips there. You cashed in uh, and hit 30 of those. But Ronald and, and Jacob were tremendous. And uh, in, in a game that was close down the stretch, each of those uh, held its own importance. If very much so. And, you know, you look at our free throw shooting today, uh, makes us look like kings out there compared to where we've been. And we've been putting a little bit more time, and I thought we shot well. We shot well the other night. So uh, tonight, I guess you could say we had more of the right guys getting fouled. But, you know, you've got people. I know David Simmons is 3 of 7. He's a way better free throw shooter. It's a little mental for him right now. But we, we had guys step up and make shots when it mattered late. And, and that's what we always say. Free throws don't lose games, but they can win or lose the close games. And uh, that probably put us over the top at the end. And, and, you know, talking about kind of the, the weird nature of this one, too, you have uh, the technical fouls, multiple technicals on each team. I think both teams finished with two. There was actually an intentional foul late. So, I uh, think all in all, that five total in the game, uh, different infractions. And how weird is that as well? You're trying to gauge what the officials want to call. And a game that – a gym that doesn't have a lot of energy for two teams playing at a neutral site, maybe trying to psych themselves up but a little too much chatter perhaps. Yeah, and, and you know, I – they both just said for the two teams that we had were uh, too much talking that they have already sort of warned them and told them to cut it out, and we didn't. Uh, I was very – I could see the first one coming, you know, and it's like you can't pull them back far enough. The second one, it was in the middle of a play after a steal, so I was a little unsure about that one. But it's something that we've talked about as a team. There should only ever be one person get a tee, and, that, and that's me. And, it's sort of sometimes a hard lesson you got to face because I, I, I'm not going to put up with a lot of that. You know, sometimes it happens in the heat of the moment, and when that does, you may disagree. But whenever it's because of, you know, maybe a little chirp here and there, I, I don't like it. I think it, it puts your team in a bad spot. I, I think tonight uh, when when they happen to put, put our team in a bad spot, and I think you saw us up 15 or 16 at one time, and all of a sudden the lead's four. And, and – was it because of that? I don't know, but maybe because of the momentum I did whenever I shifted things up. But, you know, we're going to do things the right way. It's something that we preach every day, and it's something that I believe championship teams do. And, and I've told a bunch of our guys, you know, you're going to have to buy in, or you're probably not going to like the results on the personal level. So uh, we're a new team. With a lot of new guys that we're still learning. They're still learning about me and, and how I'm not going to change and budge on a lot of things. But that's okay, and, and, you know, hopefully we were lucky today to get an ugly win. Hopefully it will never come to where it cost us one. And, and that's what we have to take away from today and move on and get ready for tomorrow. Yeah, and I don't know how things would have played out had it been a little different, but they get the bucket and make it a two-point game. They get a technical. Yes. You run off eight straight. It's back to a ten-point game in the blink of an eye. And really that may have been the biggest uh, momentum shift in this contest today. Yeah, and it's probably sort of the same thing I'm saying that Coach Simon's right. saying right now. Uh, they're probably saying, you know, guys, they got the tee and it sort of took them out of their rhythm and all of a sudden we're right back in it. Their team might have totally changed the game. I think there's about two, two and a half left. There wasn't much time. And we were struggling. We, uh, to be honest, as a staff, we were talking. We had played 36 minutes of man. All of a sudden, our bigger guards are taken out, and that was something that they have big guards. And, and so we said, all right, let's go zone, and not a uh, really good shooting team coming into it. They bang it three straight threes on you, which is always the way it goes. Uh, so they had it figured out, and then the momentum shifted for us. And like I said, we made free throws late. You got a quick turnaround. I'm guessing you guys will. Uh hang out here and, and watch a little of this Missouri Baptist Lindsey Wilson college game. It's a team 
Missouri Baptist you see tomorrow, Lindsey Wilson, obviously you're going to get a look at it in three weeks or so, uh, right. right back here at the bigger sports center. So uh, this uh, this next ball game very important to you guys. It is. Uh, Coach Mark will stay here and, and view that one. We'll get the guys back, you know, with the 45-minute time. We're not going to sit here and wait. We're going to get them back and let them rest, feed them. Uh, but, you know, we'll, we'll be back tomorrow. Honestly, Coach Mark will probably mentally jot some things down about Lindsey Wilson, but, you know, it's too far away. We, we do it day by day. I couldn't name one player on Missouri Baptist team right now. And it's just the way that we operate. Coach Darius has been working on some things, uh, and now we move all of our, our momentum forward, and I'll be doing my homework tonight, and coaches will be doing their scouts tonight. But, you know, we got to come with a little more sense of urgency tomorrow and, and be ready to take care of business on a team that, Last year was a national tournament team and ranked top five through basically the whole year. So I expect a very good contest and a challenge for us tomorrow. Speaking of Coach Darius, we don't get to talk about these guys a lot, he and Mark and the job they do, Hagen Tyler this year as well. But you left Alice Lloyd on Tuesday night. You got on the bus, and one of the first things out of your mouth was, how about that scouting report from Darius? He did a terrific job, very thorough. You were tickled to death with it and, uh, and, and what it led in terms of results on Tuesday. Yeah, I was. And it's funny, me and Darius, I was telling him, I told him once in the locker room after the game, after every Everybody had left, and I said, you know, I, I said, you're going to figure this out one day whenever you become a head coach. My first two or three years, you rely so much on yourself. You put so much pressure on yourself. And this summer, I always talked to our guys about evaluating. I self-evaluated myself, and the thing I kept coming back to was I believe in my staff more than anything. And, and sometimes I probably don't delegate enough to them when it comes to that. And it was something that I just had to, I, I gave it to him. I said, Darius, it's you? He said, okay. And it was, t I mean, it, you talk about to a T. And it was thorough. And that's, that's what you got to love about a young assistant who's hungry. Uh, I talked to his dad after the game and, and told him how proud he should be and how lucky we are as a staff to have what we have. And um, he's got tomorrow, too. Uh, as soon as we got home, Coach Mark, I said, you got Oakwood. Darius, you got Missouri Bachelors. Roll with it. And, and again, I, I'm fortunate, I'm blessed to be where I'm at, to have the staff I am, and we're going to continue to grind to make this program one of the best we can. Congratulations on this one. Thanks, Matt. Good luck Appreciate to you tomorrow. It. Thank you. The Tigers victorious over Oakwood today as they pick up the win over the Ambassadors out of Montgomery, Alabama. The final score, 81-74. to 74.